good, I guess midday, it's not morning. This is Saturday, November 12th. And this is my 307th entry in this exercise log. Happy birthday to me, happy birthday to me. I turn as bright, sprightly 67 today. I just finished a 2.6 mile. Started off as a run, but I turned it into a walk. Didn't really feel like running that much. It is a gorgeous fall day, about uh, 48 degrees, as you can tell, sunny, just perfect weather, can't complain. Lovely Kim and I are getting ready to head out to Hood River for a couple of days. I'll probably, we'll go do some wine tasting tomorrow, uh, have a good meal tonight. Uh, not really much planned, but we like it there, so it'll be fun. Anyway, that's about all that's going on. I've got a new book I'm listening to as I finish the heist here uh, Thursday. So I'm listening to Magpie Murders by Anthony Horowitz. Or it might be Andrew Horowitz. I'm not quite sure I have the author's name right. We've been watching it on PBS and I didn't quite understand what's going on. So I figured I'd listen to the book. Maybe catch up to the series we're watching on PBS. It's a lot different than the series, and what I mean by that is it spends a lot more time. If you know the story, basically, you have a mystery within a mystery. A mystery written by a mystery author. The book story sort of covers both the written book and then a mystery surrounding the author of the mystery who's, who dies or may be murdered, and the publisher's trying to figure out what's going on. The actual book spends a lot more time going through the fictional, I know that sounds weird, uh, mystery uh, that the publisher is reading. So it's a lot more detail on the uh, fictional m murder as opposed to the real murder that the uh, publisher gets involved with. It's quite confusing, but it is kind of interesting. Anyway, listen to that. And uh, not much else to add. The lovely Kim gave me a telescope for my birthday. And I guess I'm going to have to go figure out how to do some um, solar observations this summer. We'll have to go out, I told her, go out into an empty field somewhere where there's no light pollution on a clear night and uh, do some night sky viewing. I'm looking forward to it. Anyway, that's it for the day. You all take care. We will catch you next time.